Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So I'm back with the second movie of Made in Abyss. This is called Wandering Twilight and uh, yeah, today I'm going to react to this. Now, uh, the previous week I reacted to the first movie and I said in that uh, video before I started that um, I have watched the anime. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything. That's why I decided to rewatch it and I thought like why not make uh, reaction videos on the movies which actually compile all the episodes that has happened in the anime now I have not watched the third movie that will I'll do that next week and it will be a completely new experience for me because I don't know what's going to happen there these two movies however movie one and movie two I know about it little bits and pieces of I forgot most of the stuff uh, because, for example, in the previous movie, I forgot about Ozen completely and it, it, it was not in my head. So in this movie as well, just like that, bits and pieces I remember, a lot of them I have actually forgotten. So yeah, it'll refresh my memory as well. And next week, I'm going to do the reaction to movie 3. And I think from the week after that or two more weeks, uh, another season of Made in Abyss is going to come out, which I'm also going to react to. So yeah, let us get started with uh, movie number 2. So this is the compilation of episodes 9 to episodes 13 which completes the movie. So yeah, let us get started. So as always, this will be since this is a movie reaction, it will be completely timer based and subtitle based. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitle and the timer over here. Uh, you uh, bring up your own video, sync it to the timer and watch it alongside with me. So yeah, let's get started then. So this is movie number 2. Here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Yep. Oh. And here we go, deeper into the abyss. Like I said, I remember little bits especially towards the end of the anime the thing that happened other than that i forgot most of the stuff all right great fault oh Okay, I'll, uh, I'll talk about it later. Die in the hole that sucked it up. Oof. Damn. Wow. Second birth. Wandering Twilight. Okay, I did get to know. I think there's a game in development. I was talk just talking about in the previous video that it'll be so cool if there's a game about this. There's a game in development now. Yep, you're correct. Oh, damn. He just calculated the whole thing. Hmm. Four thousand meter. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, otherwise, how would the black whistles and the white whistles go down? Like, they have went there, didn't they? So... Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, oh my god. Okay, well... Yeah, that was a nice welcome. Why are you getting excited? <laughs> well, she is a curious person, so... Hmm... Oh, there it is. Yeah, he can just grab it and extend her hand. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, they're like bait. Okay. Hmm. All right. Whoa, what? All right, that's good. What was that sound? I thought it was those things making the noise. Ah. They're like terrified. They're like, what are these random people invading our houses? Oh. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Probably because like this was like a part of the ocean or something. Oh my God. Yeah, again, the noise, it's the same noise, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god, those things. Oh lord. It's the same one. Oh my god. He's waiting to take revenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well. But he's going to go unconscious. Where's the pickaxe? There you go. I don't think so. If he misses, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Like, this thing is huge. And if he misses... Yeah, like, try to use the pickaxe for now. Alright. Nice! Okay, there you go. Haha. <laughs> Well, it ran away. We'll probably come back again later. Fight here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Making food. 
Okay, what is there? What the? Oh, wait, these are hot springs? No. Are these hot springs? Goblet of giants. Yeah, oh damn. Wonder if we can get in, you know? <laughs> okay, it, it's it's okay. There you go, it's like half springs. Hmm, it's hot here. Goblets of giants are producing the moisture. Ah. Uh. Damper. <laughs> yeah we we can back go back now yeah and that as well mm, yep Yeah, this, this place is cool. Look at this. Wait, she picked some? Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, something is... I don't think so. Wait, what? The talk. Oh, is it that that girl? I forgot her name. Okay. Like you could, as you could see, I can't remember anything. I remember the final section, but other than that, nothing I remember. Does the steam provide good group? Hmm. Oh my god, she's getting the. She's I'm probably dizzy and everything. Oh god, is it following them? Oh my god, what is that? Oh no. No, it's not that girl, it's someone else. Oh my... Yo. Yeah. Or Pierce. Oh! Whoa! Okay, move, move! Oh my god! Yo, everything's gone! All your things! Predicted! Oh no! Well, it has intelligence. It has intelligence. Yep, because they said. Yeah, it's scary in itself, and having these things intelligence is even crazier.
Oh lord. Oh my, it's, it's going to shoot the... Oh no. Uh, I don't think it's going to hold. Yeah, as you said, it also penetrates steel. Oh no, is she... Oh no, she's poisoned! Oh god. Wait, how did she get her hand pierced? Oh no, it's coming. Oh my god, if she, if she moves more, the poison is going to spread. Ah! Oh lord. You need to tie it with something. His backpack? Oh, there you go. Oh my god. No, 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 not now. Yeah, what? what? Yeah. Oh, no. The curse. Yeah. But there's no choice. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Okay. And the curse is hitting. Oh god, this will be bad. She still looks fine. Okay. Oh no, the curse. Oh god. There we go. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. So the, the poison is not a factor anymore, I think, but... Ah. Oh. And yeah, I remember this part very clearly, oh god. Oh my god. Ah. Oh no. Ah. It's a poison. Oh, I remember this part. Oh my god. I remember this part. Oh god. Ah. Oh, she's hallucinating. 
No, I, oh god. I don't remember. What does he do here? I forgot. Does he cut it on? I don't think he cuts it. Yeah, it'll even be a worse. Like, they don't have medical things here. Like, if, if, they, if he cuts it, it'll even get worse. But still, uh, like, it is going to infect her if it's if the hand is still there, so... Oh my god. No, 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 I, I don't think... It's... Oh my god, no. Like, I don't know, like, the blood loss will be immense. Like, they don't have anything. Like, she'll die either way. I don't remember this part. I don't remember what he does here. Oh, he, oh yeah, yeah, he breaks. I think he breaks the bone, but then. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's coming back. Yeah. This part. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh no. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god Oh no Uh, I don't think she can survive if her hand is cut off, like, the blood loss is just going to kill her. Wait, she's... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh no, it's, it's, it's spreading the poison. Oh God. Oh Oh. Okay, I think she's going to come now. There you go. I, I remember this part. Oh, like what was the name? Nanachi or something? I think.
Yeah, like breaking her hand didn't do anything. Hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, so she basically her her breath just stopped, so you need to get back the circulation of air. Okay, so poison it was not the poison that spread, but it was her. Oh. But then it's, it's still not oh. Yeah, like her hand is broken, this poison. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like breaking in the bone, like I was saying, like, you know, like, like, but you can't do anything, you needed to, he thought that if he could cut the hand, the poison might go away, but uh, it's not that easy, like the blood loss, the pain, you know, there's no painkillers here, no anesthetic, nothing, like the, from the pain itself, the person will die, it's a lot of things, oh my god. What? Wait. How? What? Oh wait, so there's portions where there's a curse and where there's no curse? Like, this part there's no curse, that's why they can go up and nothing will happen? That's an interesting information. I don't think any of the whistles know that. Like they, they talk about the curse and the you know like and the stress of going down. Hmm. Purple whistles. I think it's Nanachi or something like. Nanachi, there you go. A hollow. Hmm. Yeah, no choice. Exactly, I was just saying that. Like amateurish. Oh. Oh.
Uh. Yep, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. If she wasn't awake, then ah boy, that'll be. She would have probably just lost it with pain. Oh, it looks a lot better. Hard part. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh boy. You've taken her arm. Oh. Wait, there's a deeper meaning behind it? Oh. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Listening. She was the one who was, yeah, listening to them. Yeah, it was not that monster. What was the name of the monster? Ah. Mm. Well, well, I don't think she could have helped them at that moment. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's oh my god, oh boy, here we go. Ah I forgot okay, yeah, I forgot this part for a second. Oh lord Nitty, yeah, that's her name. Okay. Art. Ascending in the sixth layer. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing is interesting. Reg doesn't so the Reg doesn't really get affected by the curse. The companions will put them down. Uh, yeah, true. Still, yeah, exactly. That's why she's been hiding and keeping herself a secret.
Hmm. Oh, I've heard. A sign as a. Yep. Twelve hours, not much time. Damn, I feel like in the game this will be a side mission. Go fetch some stuff. <laughs> yeah, like the whole thing about the curse. So there's... Ugh. Hmm. Oh boy, here we go. Great. Wait, oh, this person was also a white whistle. Yeah, they did talk about there was a lot of white whistles there and a few were not as good as Ozan said or B what hmm well he's alone he can easily dodge and everything you know Back and belly are colored differently. Only one punished. Wow. <laughs> oh God, what? Shroom bear. Ah. Oh, you grab the whole bear? Ah! Damn. I feel bad for it. <laughs> oh my god. Calm down. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, so it sucks. Oh. Oh, really? Ah, oh, so it makes them okay. Wow, that's so interesting. Wow, this is a... <laughs> Okay, what about the others? Oh, is, is it her food or something? There you go. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Mm, yeah, that's true.
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yo, stop. Oh, boy. Oh wow, this is a nice place. Yeah. Are these graves, yeah. Wherever there's like gravestones, these flowers bloom, don't they? Wait, what was that not? Is he hallucinating? No, wait, it's here, really. Is he hallucinating? Oh, yeah, he is kind of. Does the flower have some kind of a... I think the flower has some kind of a... Hallucinating... I don't know. Uh, no, it's not there. Hmm... <laughs> Boy. Uh. Yeah, what was like there was like a section where we heard his voice and he was saying talking about Liza, so he knew Liza. So they're hinting that he knows Liza, but he Oh god. Just a sec guys. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't eat the mushroom. What? Oh, the medicine. Oh, so she makes antidotes. Ah. Well, yeah. That is... <sighs> <laughs> I 
Oh my god, that is just... <laughs> oh no, what the... <laughs> There's no color in it. Did she just mix everything and... Yeah, she just mixed everything, just blended everything and... Yeah. Is it is it uh, It's fishy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, her. Oh, yeah, that that thing. I do remember. I think there was like some kind of a layer or something. If you go against that. As far as I can remember, that was... <sighs> Give it a shot. There you go. It's a, it's a layer, isn't it? Yeah. What is that? What is this thing? Fog weave, break through the relic. Hmm. The curse, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, there you go. So there's portions where this layer is not there. If you go against it, blankets us with layer piled upon layer. Ah. Hmm. Oh, wait. Then... Oh, that's why look at it starts bleeding and everything. Oh, if you break it, oh. Oh. Okay, so if you don't break it, then it's fine. Oh. Hmm, okay, makes sense. What force field? There is light to them. 
Oh. Yeah. Like, what about that? Oh, she found it. Okay, okay. Or maybe Ozan's place as well. Yeah, there you go. That's why the girls didn't hit. Hmm. Predictive. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> One time. Hmm. So the thing, the information that Nanachi gave to them, none of the um. Whistles know about it. What? Okay. Are they going to fight the off split? Oh damn. Oh it's a mic. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. What the Who is blowing a whistle? What? Wait, there's another per person here. No, who is that? Oh, here's a black whistle. Okay. Okay. All right. What? Uh, uh. What? Oh. Damn. Oh damn.
Oh, okay, yeah, the incinerator. Here we go. Damn! Yeah, point blank range. It's gone. Wait, did it just dodge? Oh my god, it dodged. What? She was holding into it. Oh no, she, he's going to go unconscious now. Oh, it ran away, I think. It didn't it? Eighty percent of his spine. What about the, what about the spines? Like how? Why did it eject the what? Oh yeah, they need to send the letters and messages. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> he did not go unconscious. What? Oh, um, the thing about Mitty. Oh, great. Yeah, I remember. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh yeah he went unconscious now. i was thinking when it's going to go unconscious Oh, it's coming back. Mitty cannot be killed. I think it's something like that. But when Nanachi saw him use her, his incinerator, he re she realized that maybe this is a time. Oh, here we go. It's a backstory. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh boy. God damn. Well, here we go. It's that, it's that guy, that white whistle person. Oh god.
ponder red what oh boy yeah and she wanted to go to the abyss you know the, the Oh, there you go, that's Mitty, isn't it? Yep. So they brought them from the other places of the world to the abyss. Okay. Oh God. Oh boy. Ah, mm. oh, well. God damn. Ah. Damn. She no. What the? <laughs> yeah, be careful. Like you care. Wow. Great. When the life is on. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here we go. 
Great. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to get out of here. Because what's happening? Oh god. But the advocated the black person. Ah. Hard. Oh no, here we go. Oh. God. I think what I forgot what this machine actually does. It actually puts a curse, doesn't it? It makes a rapid descent. Oh God. There you go, capable of forcing the curse all to one side. Wow, my god. Hmm. What? You will be on the one that's driven the. Oh my god. Oh yeah, is that why she's the one who got more affected with the curse? While Nanachi was also affected, but not that much. Is that why? I forgot this. A little bits and pieces, I forgot about this part, but. Oh my god. It's going to come back up. Won't it? Like, otherwise the curse won't hit. Oh my god. Damn, so this is also a dumping ground for all the failed experiments. My god. Ah. 
And it's going to come back up. Okay, here we go. Now, now the curse is going to hit. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. God damn. So the curse gets shifted to one of the compartments. Like the severity of the curse. Nanachi also got affected by it, but Mitty was the one who completely lost everything. Because this she is twofold, not only cause the loss. Yeah, there you go. That's why she, she she's looking like you know she's thinking that red red could probably kill Mitty. In the incinerator. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Yeah, and she runs away with her like, oh god. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Lexus.
Yeah. Oh God. And she told that let me let my soul return to you. Oh. <sighs> yeah, all for her. <sighs> mm. <laughs> you, you cannot cook properly leave to reg <laughs> yeah <laughs> no Yeah. <laughs> he also cannot cook. <laughs> um I I guess it's better than what you make. I think so. Yeah, it's better. Oh no, never mind. <sighs> A lot better, look at the, her hand. Where is... Oh, let's see. I can't remember what actually happens by the end, like Reg realizes I think that he's actually suffering every day. Miti. Oh yeah, that as well. Like what's going to happen to Miti? Like she cannot die. Oh 
all alone just oh my god that's just so bad yeah so she needs to kill her before she herself dies that is so bad yeah Oh god, there you go. Oh my god.
Oh, das ist ein Leiser. He knew Liza. I'm really curious about the connection. <laughs> She's like, I'm open up. Yep. Oh boy. <sighs> oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Pan fried demon fish. Damn. That looks good, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mitty, yeah. Does it? Oh, boy. Yeah, was she like half conscious or something like kind of in a trance? Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. Because Oh boy.
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Mm. <laughs> oh damn. Oh boy. <laughs> uh. Damn. Oh. Oh, these are those fishes. <laughs> Damn. What? Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh god, well... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <sighs> Oh yeah, the, oh boy, the, the, the shrooms. Ah. Oh. Like she said, like, it takes too much. Oh God. <sighs> oh, there you go.
Yeah. Like she said, like you know, Rico, her treasure. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing left here, you know. Meat is. <laughs> yeah the, yeah the the sixth I think the sixth layer that's what where she was dropped hmm <laughs> yeah, I think that's the end. Oh no, there's still something. Left. Okay. Oh, is that the letter? Is that I think so. Like, um, Reg did tell that old man to go and pass on the information. Information, yeah. So, yeah, okay. Preparation of preserved medicines. Oh! Damn, these poor things. Sorting of cave raiding equipment. Oh, this is the Ozen, uh, Ozen Slayer. Up, oh, Mardog found it. Procurement of water repellent materials. All right. Oh, she's stitching it up. Not she, sorry. I think it's he. Mardog is a like, male, I think. <laughs> yeah there you go support okay oh oh these things is corpse eat no yeah is it the corpse eater or corpse sweeper i think that something like that corpse sweeper oh no Oh my god. Okay, we're almost ready. Oh, did it reach the upper layers? I think so. Yeah, who is that? There you go.
Yep, let us go on our new journey. Hmm. Wow. Oh, is this Mark? Uh, that what was the name of the guy? But what his name? Yep, it's him. Wait, he even has like. Damn! Oh my god. Dad? Wait, who? Oh Lord. Rushka. Wait, I don't think they had this in the anime. Did they show this to the us in the anime? I don't think so. What the wait, so he's a dad? Oh my god, I like this can go either way. Either he's like a good dad, like he's ruthless to the other kids, but as a dad, he's a good dad. Either that or he's saying to his own kid as well. Probably not. I think he's probably a, I kind of one of those characters who he experiments on children, but at the same time for his own child, he is very overprotective or something like that, I think. Is he one of those characters? Because his daughter seems very happy. So I don't think... Like there was a part of me that was thinking oh my god is does he also like you know like treats her, his own daughter badly or something but her daughter his daughter seems fine so i'm guessing he's one of those oh god, i don't know we'll see uh i'm guessing the next movie which i've not watched probably has something about this guy i, I don't remember his name but maybe we'll get to see more of him and like he told that oh Nanachi will meet again which obviously like is a foreshadowing that yeah they're going to meet again and probably will, there will be a fight or something oh god damn this yeah this part is crazy All right, so oh boy, we have a new like uh, you know uh, Nanachi is joining us, and uh, from here onwards, I'm guessing we'll be a group of three. So this is the third or the fourth layer. I think it's it, is it the fourth layer? I forgot. Either way, yeah, we need to go more down. Like the sixth layer was the layer where Nanachi was dropped and where from getting up from there, like, you know, she lost her humanity. Like this is the thing, you know, so basically, like as I could understand about 
the whole mechanisms of this world of not the world but the abyss it's like if you go down it wouldn't hit that much you'll only get nauseous or like you know you'll have hallucinations this and that probably have a little um problem in your body but that's the end but nothing serious but if you come up that's where the curse is going to hit and that's where the main trouble starts so going down i think it's not that big of a deal only for, like you will have to keep an eye on the predators and the, you know the monsters and everything and occasional dizziness nausea you know like just not feeling well that is a basic thing the trouble starts when you go up and i'm guessing the trouble hits harder like the curse hits harder if you try to go up quicker like otherwise you know like the black whistles or the white whistles them going up gradually little by little they would also get hit by the curse you know like the white whistles are in layer six the black whistles are in level layer five or something like that so they're also going there and they're also coming back up so but still they're able to survive how while at the same time nanachi and mitty were hit with the curse even though they were also at level six it's probably because i think the the speed at which you come up is a big factor like if you go up very quickly i think the curse hits more i think that's probably the thing and uh, if you like i gradually go little by little take rest go little by little take rest it hits a lot lesser i'm guessing that's how the black whistles or the white white whistles are able to go back up to the surface i don't know this is just a guess you know you know obviously because if you go quickly the curse is going to hit more like how nanachi told the the curse is like a like a blanket with the upper part being smooth the lower part being like you know with like you know riddled with thorns so if you go down it's fine try to go up try to break the curse uh, the layer it's over and uh so yeah so that was the thing so one thing Nanachi said something about how she can see the layers. She said something about, oh, it will be difficult for you because you cannot see it. Which I'm guessing kind of hints that she can actually see the layers. That's why she could uh, bring, like, you know, find a part where the layer is not there. And that's the part where he, she made her hideout. And that's why uh, taking uh, Rico up the stairs did not do anything because the layer is absent over there. Okay interesting so that is one of the mechanisms of the abyss none of the whistles know about this i'm guessing so that's interesting because if they knew about it i guess they would have taught it to everyone didn't they so they don't know about this whole mechanism i'm guessing only nanachi knows about this and now obviously Rico and uh, reg knows about it okay so this ep uh, not episode so this movie uh, is the final section of the anime and uh, um like I said, I forgot most of the things, few sections I remembered and it started coming back to me. For example, that section, like the section with Mitty, I kind of remembered, especially the ending section. And uh, you know, like um, how Rico got uh, struck with the curse that I remember her bleeding from the face and everything. And it started coming back little by little when we were seeing that scene. I remembered, oh my God, yeah, he's going to break the bone. But I didn't, wasn't able to remember if he cuts off his hand, her hand or not. So that was one part i didn't remember but i remembered some bits and pieces of it so oh my god like this episode like you know what the uh, most uncomfortable part of this episode is obviously the whole thing with that guy i forgot his name that that guy who was experimenting on them um the main part of him uh, the main thing about him and like you know him experimenting on everything that was very bad obviously but i think the most uncomfortable part of this episode was the realization what has been happening to Mitty. There's so many like you know things that hit us little by little and makes us realize the actual severity of the situation of Mitty. For example, if you look at the whole situation, like you know, just very ca not casually through uh, over the surface, you're like, okay, she got hit by the curse, she's like this now, but now she's having a living a happy life. But like I said, like the realization hits little by little what is the actual problem with this scenario. Number one, we don't even know if she's suffering in this situation. I like you know, I'm I'm pretty sure she was suffering every day. And I, I don't know, I remember like I, I don't know, like it's just like a 
like something I remember wrong, but I remember like in the anime they said something about her suffering all the time in this way because every day he, she's suffering. They did not actually tell that to us in the movie, but they kind of like hinted it because you know when Rico said that oh I was like you know trapped and I saw someone else also trapped she was suffering all the time that was like hinted that yeah Mitty was suffering like you remember when uh, uh, um, Rex said that. Uh, she looks fine, you know, like she's living a happy life. Actually, no, I think she was suffering all the time. Like that's, I think that's like that was kind of hinted, and which is something that I wouldn't be surprised if they actually told us that. Yeah, in that like you know situation, she was not living a peaceful life. She was actually suffering all the time. So that that is one realization that hit me. That it looks everything is peaceful. It looks like she's just a little. Like, you know, thing, just scurrying around, just, you know, like, uh, you know, being with, um, what's her name, uh, Nanachi, and she's happy, but no, she's actually suffering. That's one realization. Another realization is that, um, oh, before, like, that section where we get to know how she was being just, oh my god, like, the whole thing with the, that guy, when she said, like, just... <sighs> You know like experimenting on mitty in that form like you know trying to like severing her limbs and everything trying to see if she could be killed but she just regenerates back and each and every time you know like nothing happens it's just that she cannot die and she's suffering all the time like like nanachi said like she cannot die but that does not mean she cannot hurt she's hurting so that's suffering all the time, you know, like being hurt, like you know, just cutting off your limbs and then just re is regenerating back and you feeling the pain of it each and every time. The guy was saying something like, oh, this is the ninth time or something he said, which shows how she has been suffering. So that's why Nanachi took her out and ran away. Now, another realization that hits, which also hit me when I also realized what, like, you know, like when Rex said that, okay, so she looks fine, you know, like, couldn't you keep her with you? You know, like you are telling me to kill her, but, you know, like looking at her, it looks she's okay. She's having, a nice, like, you know, she, she's okay with you. She's good with you. You're going to take care of her. Everything is good. But then when what Ranachi says makes us realize that it's not that simple, this situation. Like Ranachi said, she is a mortal while Miti is immortal. So she, there's, it'll be a little amount of time that she can take care of Mitty. Nanachi will die in sooner or la later, but Mitty will survive. She is not going to be able to die at all. She'll be just there all lonely. Uh, you know, like she, she doesn't even need food, you know, but she can get hurt. So she, it'll be just her lonely self just staying there and just, you know, like being hurt over and over again by predators, be it humans, someone else, you know, like maybe someone, some other person like that guy who was experimenting on her might find her again and start experimenting on her again. Like these, these scenarios, like these we need to understand. What Reg was thinking about at that moment was that, oh, everything looks fine now. But for Nanachi, she's thinking about the future. She's thinking about what's going to happen when she will not be there to help her out or protect her. So, yeah, that's when the realization hits that it's better to kill her at this moment if there a, a chance presents itself. Normally, you cannot kill her, she's immortal, but the chance presented it in itself that Reg is a person who has that incinerator thing which can just blow out each and everything. So, this is a huge chance. That's why Nanachi decided to grab that chance and put mitty out of her misery and you know like yeah so that's like another realization um so yeah these things you know like like yeah like it's it's crazy if you think about it in that way now <clears throat> okay what else now other than that obviously like the whole thing about rico's treatment it was kind of interesting to see how they treated her. First of all, the thing what which um, Rick tried to do, cut off her hand. When Rico said, like, cut off my hand. Like, that's one thing, like Nanachi said, that someone should never do if they're not actually experienced in it. Because, I guess, you know, like, 
the situation was very what can i say a situation which obviously reg neither reg or neither rico knew what to do they, they thought that the poison is spreading so all they could do is cut off the hand the part where the poison is so that it does not spread which seems like if you think of it in that way seems like a viable solution of left letting your um you know poison go uh, spread to your body but it's not that simple first of all amputations are done with medical supervision you need anesthetic you need painkillers so many things if those things are not provided to a single person through the sheer pain either the person will die or they lose unconscious and it'll be crazy the blood loss will kill that person so unless and until you have medical supervision these situations should not be like you know, these things should not be done like you see in zombie <laughs> you see in zombie shows just oh poison cut it off like damn like <laughs> it, it seems that simple but it's not that simple actually like there's so many things that you need to think about and uh, obviously wreck thought that oh if you like you know like break the bone and cut off your hand it'll be fine but thankfully nanachi came and before he cut off rico's hand she came before that if he actually cut off rico's hand she would have died you know like not for the from the poison but from the sheer pain and the blood loss so thank god that did not like you know before that nanachi came in and helped them out so yeah now <clears throat> that's one thing and the, the way she kind of treated her was really interesting the whole parasitic shrooms was like you know how, the, how she says that oh these shrooms actually kind of affix itself on these little bears where they're almost about to die and they kind of inject some kind of a thing in them um which makes the uh, bear live again and you know go on its own way so like looking at it it doesn't seem like a parasite but actually it kind of gives you like you know uh like good stuff to help you out with your um you know like with your uh, thing now um basically it's a symbiotic relationship where the obviously the parasite provides stuff the good stuff like you know like the medical things or that. i don't know what it was but it kind of takes out all the bad things from the person and prolongs the uh, thing's life in you know in uh return the thing in which it is on provides them him food i'm guessing the parasite's food not parasite i'm not going to call it a parasite it's a symbiotic relationship parasitic relationship and symbiotic relationships are different parasite is only when the thing takes from you it doesn't give anything to you but these mushrooms give something to you take something back so it's a symbiotic so that is like that was so interesting to see how it was put on their hand the swollen hand it has so much poison and the shrooms actually kind of uh detoxified it and little by little just you know uh made everything okay and probably took some nutrition from um rico just to stay keep itself alive you know symbiotic relationship uh the problem was when you have to cut the shrooms off and take it out that's painful but thankfully because of that the hand was okay and it's so like you know like you know like this whole thing saved them like you know if you think about it in a broader perspective you know basically Mithi saved everyone because you know Nanachi technically saved them but Nanachi researched about all of these different things to somehow to try to find out some way to bring Mithi back so that's why she knows so many things she has this vast knowledge of these shrooms this that these type of medicines and everything and all for Mithi so if you think about it in that way Mitty was the reason why uh, Rico was saved. If Mitty was not there, she wouldn't be saved at all. Like in multiple things. First of all, like I said, like if Na Mitty was not there, Nanachi would have never probably researched about this, and she wouldn't be able to save um, uh, Rico. Number two, uh, Mitty was the one who always came on top of uh, Rico and just stayed on top of her, kind of you know, like trying to help her out. From that section and like rico said later on like i was just being crushed you know but i i saw someone else on the other side and seeing that sh that person is even at a more pain than i am you know and uh, i i tried to like you know kind of uh like, you know make her feel okay and like you know looking at her eyes i saw that longing for you know going for an adventure or something like that which made me realize what my purpose is 
which helped me come out of that like you know like of that unconsciousness state which shows that uh mitty was also the person who was able to bring rico back like out from the consciousness like she was kind of in a coma so that's also another thing you know like the physical poison is gone everything is fine the wound was healing that's all well and good but if she did not come back from consciousness that would have been another problem so that was another thing that Mitty helped her out with. So Mitty was basically the savior of everything in this episode. Like, um, yeah, like, so there you go. That's another thing. Um, the whole section with the, uh, with the Nanachi's backstory was also kind of interesting. Now, one thing I can see, like, obviously they did not actually mention Nanachi's gender. You know, like, we don't know if this is a male or a female, but I'm guessing Nanachi is probably a female. Number one, her name you know like nanachi's name nanachi i think that's that's probably that's definitely a female name nanachi another thing is like she i'm going to call her a she even though we don't know like i think it's, it's a female she's a female like you know the way she kind of like always blushes whenever rick touches her and everything and you know like she kind of gets uncomfortable whenever rick goes close to her because technically you know she's naked you know like you know she, she's her, her furry coat and everything that's basically that so that kind of i guess hints that probably she's a female and uh, something like that i don't know we like we don't know nazi's gender but i feel like she's a girl so you know like these two nanachi and uh, mitty these two were we get their backstory and how they were and uh, so both of them came from the outside world not from the abyss they were brought from the outside world this guy but what was his name bear something with b i don't remember either way i'm sure i'll get to know his name later on in the next movie but you know uh, he brought them here in the abyss and uh, they were basically specimens for him you know like they told that he told them that oh you'll be fine in the abyss you know like there's a lot of things and nanachi already had like a longing for the abyss he she wanted to go there he jumped uh with the like you know like opportunity jumped at the opportunity they came here and none of them knew what was happening you know each and every day one of the uh, children were taken away and obviously she was he was experimenting on them and later on that realization actually hits what actually happens like you know they put them in the, the thing and what he was doing that experiment is like this two tubes i'm guessing and what she, he was trying to do is she did it with animals and humans first. It did not work. So he decided to, in the end, to do both with humans, Nanachi and Mitty. And what it does is shifts the curse to one of the compartment and reduces the curse very less to the other one. That's why Nanachi had got the curse. She became like this, but she's at least alive. Mitty, however, just lost everything. And uh, they, they throw them down to the sixth layer and bring them back up where the curse hits and that's that's where everything goes wrong another thing we realized is he has been doing these experiments and probably disposing of all the failed experiments in in the sixth layer where we saw you know in the end when nanachi and mitty comes down and in front of their tubes there's all of those like you know deformed mitty like things just there like it's so bad if you think about it all of them are living there you know like thankfully mitty was you know destroyed by uh wreck like you know she won't have to suffer but these kids who have been experimented on before they're all there in the sixth layer just living there forever unable to die like that's like the realization is so crazy you know like like they won't be able to die their soul is just trapped in there which is so uncomfortable if you think about it you know like, like Nanachi said, that looking at the eyes, you can realize the soul is trapped there. You know, like, it looks like it's, this is not Mitty, maybe this is something else. But it is Mitty, Mitty's soul is in there. So it's just trapped, it cannot go out. So even after death, you would say, she's just trapped in this, in this shell, unable to die and feeling pain and everything. Now imagine that happening to all of those kids who are in that sixth layer, who has been just disposed of. And just like that, they'll be staying there forever. That's so uncomfortable to think about. 
like this is what this show did like you know like, like there's there there are brutal shows gory shows but i feel like what this show was able to do was make us feel so uncomfortable with the realizations as to what is actually happening like this is crazy like you know like like this this show is obviously not that gory i would say but the realization as to what's happening is the thing that that is actually so uncomfortable makes you feel so uncomfortable like they're just trapped there in that shell without won't be able to die just there feeling pain forever and ever like yeah and obviously the whole section with nanachi and riko uh, uh, reg coming to a decision of killing Mitty. and uh, yeah at first riko, riko uh, reg was kind of hesitant but when he realized the actual severity of the case of what's happening and what's going to happen after nanachi dies he decides to go on with it and uh, yeah and that was it so yeah crazy like you know section this whole part is just so crazy like part one was uncomfortable you know the whole thing with ozen and everything the realization that uh, Rico is actually a person who died first and then came back all that that was uncomfortable this is in on another level this part like it's so crazy like you know the, the everything the, the way it's, it's going on and all so yeah and uh, I've heard that the upcoming parts are even crazier I I don't know yeah I don't know what I'm like I don't, I don't know what to expect now you know like next week i'm going to react to the movie i don't know what's going to happen there so yeah like if, if it's even more uncomfortable than this then i don't know what like how can they even do that like we'll we'll have to see we'll see but either way uh, yeah that was it that was this uh movie the, the reaction to the anime now from here onwards as i said i know nothing up until the, this part i had like little bits and pieces of information and uh, like you know uh, memory of what happened and all from here onwards nothing I know the next movie will be completely a blind reaction and oh boy I cannot wait to see what more uncomfortable things we'll have to go through and uh, yeah like like you know that the, the, you can realize here that, that the humans are the most vicious thing over here like like the animals and the monsters are yeah they're bad but wh what they do is just if they get you they'll just kill you that will be it but if humans get you like this guy here this is what's going to happen you know like the thing that happened to Mitty. so that realization that the monsters are actually not the biggest threat over here humans are like that's so crazy oh boy anyways so that's it guys thanks for watching um this was oh no wait stop another thing uh one another important thing we got to know in this uh, in this uh movie or the the last section is reg is somehow knows uh rico's mother that is yeah like how what is the connection we saw him seeing her in the in the uh, dreams the memories and everything and uh so i'm guessing I don't know. Like it's it's a whole mystery, but that it is confirmed that he knew her mom, and uh, yeah, that's something. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure we'll get to know in the upcoming movie or maybe the sequel that we're going to get. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to uh, Made in Abyss movie number two, and this marks the end of the anime, the first season. Next week, I'm going to react to. The third movie, which is something, which is the sequel to this, I'm guessing, and which I don't know anything about. So, and from later on, like, you know, when the sequel will come, I'm going to react to that as well. So, anyways, thanks for watching. This is my reaction to this movie. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. Uh, but no spoilers please because i i can kind of guess that this this show has probably has a lot of twists and turns coming in the future so which i don't know maybe the people who read the original source material knows so yeah no need like no no, no spoilers like yeah i can I, I'll, I'll try to find it out on my own as i watch the shows and everything
so yeah so we'll see you guys uh next week with another not another but the third movie and uh, yeah a reaction to that so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day